Hey guys, welcome back to Daddy's Life. Today, we're having an elk burger in the house right now, and it's delicious. But, I'm gonna bring it out here, I'm gonna bring you out here and show you what my father-in-law and my wife's nephew, Meatball, what they've been doing. They've been over at the Missouri River catching catfish. Look at the size of this. This is a 55 pound blue cat. How long is this fish? Now, let's take you in the shop and show you what these goobers have been working on all day. My uncle and my little buddy Connor, they put a snowmobile engine on a golf, or not on a golf cart, but on a go-kart. How's your back? Better. Not? Cry, baby. Not completely healed, but better. <laughs> Look at those white legs. I can walk. <laughs> yeah, his back hurt pretty bad the other day, and they, he was going to have to have somebody come get him. But. Hey, what's up? Meatball. <laughs> Here's this apparatus. <laughs> what size is that snowmobile engine? Uh, 290 something. That thing's gonna ride a wheelie when you take <laughs> off. You want me to weld over that? Maybe it's better. <laughs> it ain't going to work. It's got bolts in the front. Here, I think we should let I Connor weld it. it I'll weld it. Where they was gonna hit is gonna be right over the ground part of that. Be careful. Man, your light bar is about to fall plumb off of this truck. Huh? Light bar is about to fall plumb off of it. The wire's holding it on there. Oh, Lord. Well, that ain't good. Look at this beauty. What happened? Where did the bolt go? She's missing. Oh, no. That ain't good. Rawr! That ain't good at all. No, it ain't. That ain't good at all. Richard. <sighs> We need a bolt. Hey, I think we have some in there just like that. Yeah. Homemade snowmobile go-kart thing. We're testing out. Got the gas tank wired up on the back, which is probably going to end up in the road. <laughs> this is dangerous. Hey, give us a gas. Oh my gosh, it's Oh my gosh. How many people do you have with you? <laughs> Here's everybody. Hey, show Farmall Fanatic this tractor. He likes Farmalls. Okay. Let me just zoom in on this. Now, with Charles, where'd you throw your bank? Where'd you throw your bank? What are you torching? Oh. Oh my. What? 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 Pull the motor over. Oh Lord, this is dangerous. Oh. That doesn't seem like a good idea with the gas tank right there. there ain't much gas in it. Whatever. All right, hop down. We gotta start Connor needs his tetanus shot before he gets on this thing. I'm gonna need more than the Here you go. Just a tetanus shot. <laughs> and a helmet and some pillows. <laughs> I need a pillow right there. Yeah, that's a that's a rough looking seat. Yeah. Zip tie poking in my butt. That's what you have to sit on? Yeah. Good yeah. lord. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing there. That's like my butt. Now pull it. My Mommy. wrist is hurting. 
I'm Honey. Broke my wrist. I'm gonna get him something soft to sit on. Good Lord, he hits a bump and is Take the seat off that John Deere. It works. I'll teach him to quit getting Connor into doing these things for real already. Connor, your nuts are gonna fall through that crack and drag. <laughs> Sparks. Is on there or what? Tell me. Everywhere. Okay, okay, hold on. Stay back, Baba. Stay back. Stay back, honey. Give him a little gas. There you go. Give him more gas. <laughs> he won't last long either because that thing's going to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Look behind you, the gas tank's off. <laughs> That's as far as I can zoom. <laughs> Look at your gas tank! <laughs> <laughs> I knew that stupid wires wouldn't last long. <laughs> These homemade jobs that always get half butted always end up half butted. I don't know why he even tries it. I called that one. I told him that gas tank was going to end up in the road. Did you have it hammered? No, I had it like this much thrown. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for it. It's vibrating like that. Hey, you dumping all that out? Why? Chainsaw. That filled it up. That filled up the chainsaw. Look, everybody. He's dumping gas. Just dumping it out on the ground. That's a waste. Chemicals right into the ground, right into the soil, right into them corn over there, right into that corn. Cows are gonna eat. Yep, got that on there too. Jeez, we have to cut this crap all out. It vibrates because you need a pad to set on. <laughs> I couldn't see straight. It was <laughs> I just now realized the handlebars. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the handlebars. <laughs> She's a <the> rigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll be a good one when we're done. With it. Does it spin all the way like a normal steering wheel would? Yeah, good enough. <laughs> what a deal well that's all the excitement we have for you today here you never know what's going to happen up here there's always something getting worked on over in the shop he's always putting a snowmobile engine motor snowmobile engine motor he's always putting a snowmobile engine on something that they don't even go on and you just never know what's going to happen here but I'm glad that I am able to show you guys the crap we do here because you never know what's going to go down in our little town. Well, I thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.